What's going on everyone, Roger Rabbit Showdown here, and today I have two PU replays for you all to enjoy. Um, I've been playing PU a lot recently, uh, first I watched Swagglyph play it a lot, get to number one, that was cool. Then I made a team, and uh, it's alright, we're going places with it. Um, You'll see the team change a bit in the second replay. This one was taken from yesterday, and the second replay was taken from about 15 minutes ago. So, with that out of the way, uh, we can get this started. Alright. So, I'm going to lead Garbodor because I saw he has a Torterra, and I want to bait him into EQing or going for rocks. He does go for EQ. I wanted to Encore with Chatot, but he actually goes into Flareon. Uh, I was assuming this would just be a regular Toxic Orb Offensive Flareon, but when I saw Wish, I knew automatically it was Specially Defensive Flareon. Gonna go for Gunk Shot, try to get a Poison on something, that doesn't work out. Uh, predict the Stone Edge, and uh, that turn was kinda shitty for me, cause I missed the Gunk Shot, and all that jazz. He goes into Kadabra, Kadabra, wow, which is probably Focus Sash. Uh, Pidgeot takes that like a mouse, and uh... War Turtle is here. This is a Spadef Pidgeot with Feather Dance, Defog Roost, and Brave Bird. All the flying type moves all the time. Uh, going into throw, hopefully he gets a burn. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really play this very well because I didn't expect him to have Seismic Toss, which actually does a lot to throw. Even at max HP with burn. It's, we're basically going to trade War Turtle for throw, which uh, was interesting. Throw wasn't really that much of a help to me this game though uh, he did work against Flareon and Torterra if it couldn't kill me and that's about it uh, Scarf Luxray though Bolt switching um, <laughs> I basically just do that to I don't even know I just Bolt switched because I did he just destroys my Kecleon with a Pursuit uh, didn't think he'd have that <clears throat> uh, I go for Sub here I believe now, since this is Spadef, I know I can't uh, two-hit KO it with Boom Burst, so, I mean, I'm gonna go for the hacks, you know, it's... I'm gonna go for the hacks. Uh, now I'm gonna Boom Burst, that it is confused, now that it is confused, and do a lot, but, you know, it's not a two-hit KO, unfortunately. It's gonna get the Wish off, then get the Protect off, which is unfortunate for me, but... whatever. Uh, he is still confused. I'm gonna Encore into Protect. <laughs> And, uh, I kind of expected him to switch out here, so I go for Chatter. <laughs> I still expect him to switch out, so I go for another Chatter, but he just stays in and keeps going for Protect. Um, his, his thing is over, but I don't think he's going to stay in, because I can just Encore him again. Actually, I think I go for Encore. Yeah, I do. And then he tries to Encore me through a sub, which doesn't work, and I'm going to Boom Burst and kill his Kadabra. He, the Basculin is here, it's going to Aqua Jet, break my sub, and it's going to die. Basculin is dead. Um, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, Pursuit doesn't kill Chatot, even when I switch out, which is interesting, to be honest. But, um, he goes into Flareon, which, uh, I Feather Dance, because he has only physical attackers left, and Fle Feather Dance is doing things and stuff. He goes for Toxic, which is his, uh third move that he's shown. He actually hasn't shown an attacking move, but he has Protect Toxic, which is uh, unfortunate for me. Uh, I am going to do damage with the Bird of Braves, and now he's going to do the thing where he wishes and protects, but I'm going to switch, because I'm a good player and know that he's going to go for the Protect, <laughs> and I go for the Sub. <laughs> Uh, basically is slacking his trap now. Um, I'm gonna go for the big old boom burst, do a lot of damage. Uh, now he has to switch something in, which he really can't. And I go for chatter because I thought the Torterra was coming in. But whatever. Uh, I can just sub, hope for para or recoil damage or anything that will help me kill this Flareon. And now I go for boom burst because I really don't need this thing anymore after what just happened to the slacking. I really only needed it for slacking because I pretty, I'm pretty sure that uh, 
a superpower from Luxray won't kill a slacking from full. But whatever. Uh, gonna go for two Brave Birds with Pidgeot. That's a non-invested Brave Bird. Two a KOing a probably physically defensive Torterra. Uh, and yeah. Slacking's gonna come in and retaliate, and I'm gonna go for a superpower with Luxray and take him out. So that is the game. Uh, I. It was, it was a good game. Uh, longer PU battle for what it usually is, unless you're facing a salt, a salt team. People can make disgust, disgusting stall teams in this tier. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next replay. Okay, so I'm on the other side in this replay. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> this, guy's team, this guy was number 16 on the ladder when I battled him. He has a really scary team. Uh, Marowak is terrifying. Uh, as you can see, I replaced Kecleon with Sawsbuck because this team had troubles with Gorgeist before, and now it does not because I have a sub-SD Sawsbuck with Double Edge and Horn Leech. Uh, plus four Horn Leech does almost 50% to a Gorgeist, so that's not really bad at all. Um, Alright, so let's just get right into the battle. Uh, I'm gonna lead Thoreau, hoping he led Marowak. Ah, uh, no, no, no! I lead Sawsbuck, thought he, thinking he'd lead Marowak. Uh, bring in Thoreau. He's gonna, gonna miss a hurricane. I'm gonna knock off. Uh, he's gonna miss another hurricane, and I'm gonna storm Thoreau. And now he can't roost, so he kind of has to sack his thing right now. Uh, yeah, that Articuno kind of got hacked, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh, he's gonna dynamic punch, and I'm gonna get confused and kill myself. So it's a bit of return hacks, I guess. I would have knocked off this Machoke's Eevee Light, which would have made it a lot easier. But uh, whatever. So I was thinking the Marowak would just go for rocks here. I hoped anyway, but he does not do that. Uh, this man's team actually doesn't have any hazards, which is really weird for PU because a lot of teams have some form of hazards. Uh, this Haunter was a threat until I realized Pidgeot can take that like a champion. And, uh, I'm gonna go for a Brave Bird and do a lot to the Floatzel. And go into the Garbodor. And, uh, take that Ice Punch like a champ. And then go for a, a, a big old Toxic Spike, because I thought he'd switch. And I really should have gone for another Spike here, because then his Floatzel would be dead after one turn of re-entry. But that does not go my way because this Machoke confuses me and I get confused and I don't kill it and now it rested and I wish I knocked off his Eviolite. Anyway, get a gun shot a couple times. I do believe he's not going to take me out with that dynamic punch. Going to hit another gun shot. Now he's going to take me out with a knockoff and get some big old aftermath damage because YOLO. Bring in Scarf Luxray, go for a Volt Switch, he is dead. Go into Pidgeot, because this was a really sticky situation for me. I didn't know his Floatzel was banded at the time, because I didn't see any item. I had to kind of assume that after I didn't see Life Orb, but I wasn't sure. Uh, Scarf Luxray will outspeed, and there's the Volt Switch to kill him off. <clears throat> Chatot is going to get sacrificed to a Sludge Wave. Go into Luxray. Have to go for the Wild Charge in case he stays in because he would just sweep my team if I did not. Uh, now it's a Go Goat. Two Sap Sabermons going at it. He's going to bulk up. I'm going to go for the sub in the second here after all the after turn stuff. Going to go for the sub. He is still bulking up. He is now at plus two, plus two. And I am going to go for the SD. It's kind of my only option here. Uh, he's going to go for Milk Drink, luckily. <clears throat> and uh, going to SD again. Now I'm at plus four. And there is a double edge coming. And I really just had to hope he didn't switch out. Or else I would have lost. But the double edge connects. And that will be basically it. Uh, Sludge Wave is just going to come in and take me out. And then Luxray can live, thankfully, and take it out with a wild charge. And that is the game. Uh, GG to my opponent. Uh, that was a really good game. A little hacks at the beginning. Pretty fair towards the end, I would say. With confusion on Garbodor and 
not going to try to justify, whatever. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I've been really enjoying PU lately. It's really fun. Uh, you guys should play it if you haven't. Go make a team, hop on the ladder. It's, it's really fun. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.